Hi guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Rangers. We're at Pataudry just now to take on Aberdeen, the opening game of the league season. Of course, we're just off that magnificent result over two legs against Atalanta, beating them 3-1 at Ibrox to go through after a 2-1 loss in Italy. And as I say, we're back in the league, domestic action now to take on Aberdeen. I feel like we should play the same side that beat uh, Atalanta 3-1. So that would be the, the team of McGregor, Tavernier, Golton, Katic, Barisic, Jack, Koulibaly, Arfield, Jaria, Kent and Morelos. And I th yeah, I think we're just going to go with that. As I say, it did the business against Atalanta. So we're going to carry on here, take it to Pataudry, hopefully get the away win to start off the league campaign. <clears throat> Excuse me. We load into this one, Aberdeen. Pretty decent side, obviously not quite as good as Atalanta. I'm not sure I quite like the outlines of the players. It looks a bit weird to me, the big white square there. Um, four, two, three, one of sorts for them. The two midfielders in there, Shinny and Gleeson, McGinn, Ostumer and Wright in behind Wilson. I think we should have enough to see off Aberdeen today. Uh, passionately go out there and impress me. Katic is motivated by that and we'll just kick off and see what we get here now I'm going to actually slow down the highlights a little bit it was pointed out to me that it was a little bit quick uh, and I think that's possibly right um, as Logan takes the throw in it is nicked it's Morelos opens up for him and it is 1-0 not even two minutes gone that's lovely play there to intercept the pass and bangs it right into the top corner perfect start here at Pataudry and of course I'm going to change this to latest scores so we can monitor Aberdeen's formation as well as the stats and the scores elsewhere. Obviously, no other games on at the moment, so no scores elsewhere, but that's just what we want to monitor in the future. 71% possession, bossing the ball, no opening 20 minutes, exactly what we wanted. Not create too many chances, but no real urgency to do so with the one goal lead already. Half an hour gone, no shots for Aberdeen here at Pataudry. That's always good stuff. Nobody really excelling today. And Aberdeen have the free kick, it's deep, it's way over everybody. McGinn trying to keep it in, press out to him, but it is picked up. It's back into Gleason who bends one. Oh, dearie dear McGregor, what was that? How has Stephen Gleason managed to score with Aberdeen's first shot of the game? That is a howler from McGregor, if you ask me. Didn't look to have too much power behind it, and it's just crept in to the top corner. Completely undeserved. McGinn now throws it, it's at the edge of the box for Shinny, opens up a little back to Gleeson, Shinny has more space now, closed down, back to Gleeson, playing between the two of them, out wide it goes to low, now to right, into Shinny, come on, pinch it back, Gleeson now, pressure on him by Koulibaly, has to go back the way to McKenna, closed down, goes long over the top, right will not get there ahead, it's Avenir, back to McGregor, and we're trying to build for the back here with Katic, can we retake the lead before the break, about 20 seconds left here, we're going to have to get it forward quickly, Barisic, Ajaria to Kent, go on, run forward, Ajaria, Barisic, here we go now, working a wee triangle, great switch of play to Arfield, got to get a good cross in here, right on the stroke of half time, we do indeed get the go ahead goal, Morelos with it again, Arfield with a lovely cross, and we retake the lead, Deservedly so, I must say, before the break. Aberdeen were really lucky to get back into it in 39 minutes, but 48th minute, 45 plus 3, we do get uh, the go-ahead goal again. I'm going to tell them not to get complacent now. Complacency, for me, is the reason why we actually gave up that equaliser in the first place. Katic on a booking will come off for Joe Worrell. And Ryan Kent has been a bit disappointing, so Glenn Middleton can come in. I've uh, got a question about how good Glenn Middleton is in the game, so I'll just show you his profile here. Uh, obviously his stats, mm, his training has not been particularly great this month, but he has got a bit of pace. 13 acceleration with 15 pace there. 11 strength as well, so he's not a complete powder puff. Uh, decent first touch at 12. 15 crossing, obviously very good. Dribbling 15 as well. Good technique, decent passing as well. Work rate vision, off the ball movement. So he is a pretty good player. Only 18 as well. Uh, first of January, <laughs> New Year's Day, he'll turn 19, so... A pretty decent player there who will obviously develop over time. Probably be our main left winger as we will lose Ryan Kent back to Liverpool in all likelihood. Middleton's delivery finds Arfield. It's a bit of a biscuit tin here, you've got to say there. Has to direct that better. McGinn's free kick. Trying to, oh, for fuck's sake, trying to creep it in beyond McGregor. Succeeds in creeping it in beyond McGregor and it's two apiece. 
and Alan McGregor is having a howler. Two terrible goals to concede. Barisic now swings it deep, Koulibaly rises, pushed for a penalty. Alfredo Morelos with the chance for a hat-trick against Joe Lewis from the spot. Come on, Morelos, hits it. Easy stuff. It is 3-2. We retake the lead for the third time today. And I'm going to tell them to tighten up. Goldson now hoofs it over the top. Morelos picks it up nicely, good ball. Middleton, acres of space, byline stands it up. Morelos, it's a weak header. Joe Lewis fumbles it. Middleton squares for Arfield. We do get 4 2, but goalkeepers are getting really hard done by in this game. McGregor has looked absolutely pathetic for the two Aberdeen goals, and then that from Joe Lewis was abysmal there. It's whipped in. It's Devlin flicking it and over the bar there as McGregor fumbles to the ground. 70 minutes gone, they're bringing on Andy Considine. We are going to bring on Ross McCrory for Koulibaly. Needs as much experience working in that midfield role there as a ball winning midfielder, as much time as possible. 10 minutes to go, it looks like we are going to win this. It is four goals to two. Barring anything disastrous, we will pick up the three points at Pataudry. Barisic finding Middleton, mm, who loses the ball. Over the top for Wilson, he's got the pace, takes a nice touch, sets himself and finishes beyond McGregor. Right now, we're going to have to go very defensive here. Tell them to tighten up. And hopefully just see this out now. 4-3, Aberdeen with a chance to steal a point late on. Come on, hold, hold. Ugh. But 40 seconds left here, given away. Picked back up though. Goldson goes long, Morelos won't get there, McKenna away, McCrory will flick it on, that's a poor header from him. Half a minute remains as it goes back to Joe Lewis, lumps it long, Barisic away, Middleton picks it up, hold son, hold it up, there you go. McCrory a lovely flick, Ajaria, Jack, it's got to be over now. Considine pinches it, Gleason to Ferguson, forward for Considine over the top, time, there you go. 4-3 is a rather significant victory here. Three points. Well done, lads, I'm going to say, I suppose. We still got the victory at the end of the day, even though I wasn't particularly happy with the defending. We do get the three points. That's the most important thing. Away at Pataudry, obviously, one of the more difficult fixtures we will play in a season. So happy enough with that. But away to Levski. Sophia next. I'm not going to alter it to play defensively. I'm going to try and go over there and boss them as well. I don't think they are particularly that great. They're no, they're no in Atalanta where we're going to have to go away and try and shut up shop. I think we can go there and try and play them. Try and get the victory over there. Uh, a couple of players we've scouted here. Decent centre back, nothing more. Mads Pedersen, the full back, looks pretty decent as well. It cost a decent bit of money. Uh, let's see, Christian Geitkjar, who, nah, he looks an okay player at Lech Poznan. Mehdi Abid at Dijon looks, again, an alright player, nothing more. Nathan Sankala. Not really even worth scouting more. Just we're not really looking to do any business. We're just kinda keeping these guys in mind. Now can Diekmeyer be registered? Nothing. No, I think we would have to take somebody out to get him in. In fact, we could take McCrory out because he qualifies anyway. And put Diekmeyer. Oh, no, we can't because of the registration uh, restrictions. Mm, we'll take Umar Sadiq out, and we'll put Diekmeyer in. There we go. I don't think I'm going to give Diekmeyer his debut against Sofia. He can wait probably till we play St Mirren. Then he can get his debut there. I think the same team that beat Atalanta and Aberdeen will probably play. I don't know what to expect really from Levski Sofia here, but as I say, they're not in Atalanta. I think we should go out and be able to deal with them relatively comfortably. I have got more info on Akram Afif here. Uh, just need to keep up scouting on him. We don't know that much info on him. Keep, keep looking into him. Right, so it is time for our qualifier now. Against Levski, as I say, pro the same team is going to play. 
no problem with that whatsoever. Let's step up. Okay, and they're playing very narrow actually. Anthony Belmonte, who's French, looks okay. Paulinho up front, 25 year old Brazilian striker, looks okay from what we can see. I think we should be able to do the business here assertively. Carry straight on for where you left off last time. Offensively, anyway, not defensively. Is that Gabriel Obertan there? It is indeed. Age is he now? 29. How is he only 29? Jesus. He must have started playing when he was 11. Decent game so far. Away from home in Europe. We don't expect to be hammering a team, but we get a decent result. Take it. Barisic to Kent. Go on. Gallop forward, son. Quickly forward to Morelos. It's a great ball. Splits the defence. And it is 1-0 in Bulgaria. Perfect stuff. As I say, don't expect to hammer them, but if we could win, then that should surely set us up to go through. Tavernier's sliced cross is a decent one. Oh, and they can't clear their lines. Katic can poke it goalward. It is 2-0 after the half hour. But that should be pretty much tie over. That's two away goals. Two goal advantage. Is that what it's going to be at the break? It looks like it. We can make a couple of changes at the break now, I think. I think we'll throw on Middleton and McCrory at the very least. Oops, didn't mean that. Right, I'm going to passionately say very well done, actually. Away from home in Europe, two goals up. I'll take that. Uh, Glenn Middleton on for... On for Arfield, actually, and I'm going to throw Ryan Kent onto the other side. And I'll put McCrory on for Koulibaly, as McCrory obviously needs to learn that midfield role as I mentioned in the last game we're going to be throwing him in there whenever we can Kent now on the right hand side cutting in Tavernier nothing happening early in the first half Barisic's throw for Middleton away by Reese, but picked up by McCrory easy ball into the middle to Jack out wide good ball that Tavernier touches sets himself crosses Ajaria hits a bar cleared as far as Barisic but nothing else coming from that it's been a good solid game here. Playing very, very well. 14 shots to their three now. Absolutely bossing it. We'll throw on, I think. Oh, well, we'll throw on Candias now since Kent's picked up an injury. Daniel Candias coming on to the right hand side. And it's going down that right hand side now with Ajaria and Tavernier. Back to Jack. Tavernier again. McCrory switching it, Barisic back to McCrory and then to Jack cycling it up round, nice play, Tavernier can he cross, he's got men in the box slips her into Candias who loses it that's really poor, it's up to Paulinho now counter on, what a challenge from Katic keeps her in, down the line to Barisic who by the way is our star man what a player he is Barisic oh, he's lost it now, forward it goes Cabral, Yankov into Paulinho with a bit of pace can't finish so over the bar. In the last 10 minutes remains 2 nothing. We can certainly rotate in the home leg if we win this 2 0, which it looks like we are going to now. Yep, looks like it's going to be 2 nothing. A couple of seconds left now, just see at the game. Cabral looks to put it in behind. Katic read it well. And the referee should be blowing any minute now. There you go. 2 nothing. A good solid victory away from home. Gives us the perfect opportunity to rotate in the second leg. Job done. Only two to three days injury for Ryan Kent. That's not bad news at all. Does he have an agreed fee? No, there's no loan options. What about Ajaria and Koulibaly? Koulibaly. Option future fee of 1.8. That's pretty good. I'll probably pay that. Uh, as long as he continues to have a good season. And uh, what about Ajaria? No, nothing for Ajaria either. So Koulibaly seeming really to be the only one who has the option. I wonder about Big Sadiq, does he have it? Not that I'll be executing it if he does. Nah. Alright. That's going to be it for this episode. A good 
uh, a good series of results. I'm not convinced particularly with the performance against Aberdeen. Against Levski away in Bulgaria, certainly a good performance, but the Aberdeen one, conceding three goals like that, was a bit dodgy. Good result, though, as I say, away in Europe. Next time we'll be playing St Mirren at home and Levski at home as well. So that should be two comfortable victories and we should be able to rotate the side for that as well and see. Uh, we'll give Diekmeyer his debut against St Mirren and we'll probably maybe start Lafferty and Middleton, you know, we'll throw in some rotational options there but that's going to be it for this episode, two nice victories there, hopefully uh, that should be progress in Europe secured there, beating Levski away from home should be able to easily see the job out at Ibrox, listen I hope you guys are liking the, the start to the Football Manager 2019 campaign uh, if, you ha if you are, please drop down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. But mostly, just thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time when we do take on St Mirren and Levski, both at Ibrox.